Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your uh, next six month reading. If you can believe it, we're halfway through the year already. And uh, we're just going to see like what's going to be coming up for you in the second half of the year. I do, you know, what I would say to you, Pisces, is I definitely feel that you're going to enjoy uh, the second half much more than the first half. Not that there was, you know, I don't think the first half was like necessarily bad or anything like that. But, uh, you know, for the most part, Jupiter will be in your second. And uh, with Jupiter in your second, uh, that's definitely going to increase your finances. Or at least you have the opportunity to increase your finances. I always like to remind people that an opportunity is just an opportunity. Um, so Jupiter in the second isn't isn't magic, right? It's like, it, you know, people always say, you said my finances were going to increase, but I sat around on the couch and did nothing. I'm like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> then nothing is going to happen. But uh, if you take advantage of the opportunity, then the opportunities exist. Again, astrology, tarot can't make anything happen for you in your life. Uh, you're going to have to take action. The reason I'm also saying this is because there's a, there's a lot of action being taken here. So I'm not even worried about it, Pisces, for you, because it looks like um, you are going to be taking action. Eight of Pentacles, Chariot, and the Knight of Swords, like very quick movement, and the Five of Wands as well. I'll talk about the Five of Wands in a minute. I personally like the Five of Wands. Um, I think we should embrace it <laughs> when we get it. And again, I'll talk about that in a minute. But you start off with this uh, message in a bottle card. I do feel there is a, a, a message coming in for you, but... Um, the word that's popping into my head is an epiphany. It's like, uh, not I wouldn't really call it like a wake-up call. I think it's like a tiny little wake-up call <laughs> uh, that you could be happening. It's not like, I'm not necessarily getting uh, judgment vibes here yet. I mean, obviously, if the judgment card shows up when we clarify in just a minute, that's going to change things. But I kind of just have like one of those epiphanies where you, you, you just kind of like wake up from, from your sleep here. For some of you, I'm not going to lie, I feel like this is about love. Uh, you have this partnership card at the end. I feel all partnerships are going to be very, very important for you, Pisces. Again, if I were a Pisces, which I am, <laughs> by the way, I would be working on building partnerships, which I am, right? And I don't, you know, I do as I say, I, not, 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 not as I do, right? I do these things that I, I talk about. And so, you know, I like to be a living example. I don't like just to spout out off about this stuff. And, uh, but if I were you, which I am, like I said, then I would definitely be working on partnerships. Uh, and again, these, uh, you know, I like to remind people, uh, an easy way to have a partnership is to like start a group, like on Facebook about something you're interested in. If you're building a business, start a group and, and just share ideas with other people. Uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of benefits in uh, doing those things. So, you know, that's what I would do here. But again, I, ha I feel like you're having an epiphany or uh, like a tiny wake up call. Like I said, it doesn't quite uh, give me those vibes of like, like a sudden wake up call, like the judgment card, like I said, <laughs> it, it just gives me more like the, uh, like, oh, I, I know, you know, I should be uh, dating this person or, or I should be um, doing this with my life. Like, you know, I feel like you're kind of um, waking up to something. Whatever you're waking up to, it's definitely going to be a victory with the Ace of Swords. I mean, look at this, Ace of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Hierophant, damn, Pisces. Uh, you know, the Eight of Pentacles to me, I love because what, whatever this wake up call is, whatever this epiphany is, the Eight of Pentacles really tells me that it's worth the effort. You know, he is putting work into just one thing. He's kind of focusing on those pentacles. But Eight of Pentacles to me is material success on the horizon. To me, it says whatever you're working on, you are going to see a result. You are going to get the benefits of the things that you're working on. So, I mean, it, it really it doesn't get much more straightforward than that. It's like if you put in the effort, you're going to see the result. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords as well. A part of the Ace of Swords is a truth. Um, I feel like the truth is coming out for everyone, but again, not as dramatic as it sounds, right? I feel like the truth that we all are all experiencing is our own inner truth. You know, if you right now have a career and you're like a dentist, but you really want to be something else, the truth that we could be experiencing is that we're feeling pulled towards something that... Uh, you know, is really more our truth. That isn't just something society tells us to do, right? And I feel we're going to see a lot more people kind of moving towards these truths. Of course, these truths are going to be different for all of you. <laughs> the Hierophant. Hierophant has to do with traditions. Hierophant is a card of traditional beliefs as well. Um, but these beliefs could just be beliefs that you have, you know, and I feel like you're probably moving more towards those things. There is something I'm getting here about relationships, which is interesting. Um, you know, like I said, you, you could be waking up to a person in your life, like maybe there's a person in your life, and you're like, oh, I want to date this person. And I feel like they want to date you too. <laughs> uh, they're not, they're, I don't see a sign here yet. So again, we're going to clarify. 
we're going to figure out. I do feel like Gemini, uh, Gemini is jumping out to me, also Earth uh, as well. So they could have like a, a lot of Gemini on their chart. They could have a lot of Earth in their chart. Take it how it resonates. Again, I feel like when we clarify, it'll be more clear. Uh, you also have this Divine Matrix card. Again, I really feel this is just saying that you're kind of like plugging in to the universe. When we do the things that we are in alignment with, it's like things just start moving forward. I feel that, um, you know, it's like, <laughs> I think we prevent our own success a lot of the times because we judge something before we do it. Like me with tarot, right? When I first started this channel, I was like, there's no way this channel is going to help me reach some goals that I had or, or have in life. I've reached a lot of them because of the channel. But when I started it, I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't like, oh, you know, I, I, I kind of was like, this isn't going to help me get there, right? And boy, was I wrong. Uh, obviously, I can say that now, but it's like one of those things. I feel like tarot is probably something that I'm supposed to be doing. It's like part of my journey. And because of that, it's like things got easy, right? And I'm not saying life is ever easy, but it's like when I was doing it, things really just kind of started to flow and things were far from perfect when I first started. So, I, you know, I want to stress that, but you know, again, I kind of went with the flow, go with the flow. And I get that feeling here where it's like, if you're starting something new, uh, whether it be a relationship or a business or anything else, it's like, I'm not saying it's going to be perfect, but I do feel there is going to be this flow where it's just like, it's kind of got like a nice, you know, flow to it. <laughs> uh, you have the chariot, the two of pentacles and the three of swords. The chariot, I feel for some of you, this is a move. It, uh, again, it really wouldn't surprise me. I'm moving this year as well. This second half of the year doesn't surprise me as a Pisces again. And, and, and again, I'll say this again, Pisces, based off your astrology, if you're moving right now, I already know. I already know, right, that by like 2025, I'm probably going to move again uh, just because of the astrology, and I'm perfectly fine with that. So if you're going to move, you're probably going to move again. Again, it's an adventure. It's fun. You know, it's all this other stuff. People always ask me, why do you move so much? I'm like, I don't know. It's fun. I like, you know, seeing new places, exploring new things, doing different stuff. You know, it's fun. It kind of, you know, variety is a spice of life. So don't be afraid to make a change. I do feel, I'm not going to lie to you either here, Pisces. I do feel there is a very important decision that you could be making. The point of the chariot is that these two sphinxes in front of him, they are facing in opposite directions. You know, they, one's going, they're both going kind of like this. It kind of says like, we do have choice. We have free will in life. Uh, those sphinxes, they represent like mysteries, but they are also guiding his chariot. And it's kind of can represent being at a crossroads. You also have the two of pentacles, which is kind of like, uh, what do you want in your life? I feel like there's some, there are some things that really stand out to you. You know, if you look at this card, the waves, sorry, <laughs> the waves start off small and they get bigger as they move across. Sometimes I feel with the two of pentacles that there are certain things that we maybe do in life or there are certain things that we desire to have, but you know, kind of where maybe our judgment is clouded by, again, Hierophant society's rules. I like the Hierophant in your reading, but I definitely feel there are certain rules that we're all trying to break away from, you know, because society tells us, oh, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to have a career, you have to blah, 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 right? But maybe you want something different. I feel like something is getting harder and harder to ignore with those waves building. It's like something is capturing your attention. For some of you, I definitely feel you need to forgive and move on from a past situation, especially in love. I feel like someone was very inconsistent with the Knight of Swords. I, I kind of feel like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, again, <laughs> I feel like some of you are attached to a person where it's like, it's like you're, I see you kind of like attaching to a person where like, I feel like there were things, you know, if you're still thinking about a past person or you could be with this person right now, um, I feel like there are things that really annoyed you about the person, but at the same time, it's like, you don't want to go. I see this very, you know, if I zone out, which is kind of how I get my messages easier. Uh, if I zone out and I put myself in your shoes, it's like, I see something where it's like one foot in, one foot out. And, but I feel like for some of you, it's like, you're having a hard time letting something go. And what I would say here is that I feel like you need to let go of a past relationship for some of you, again, not all of you, take it how it resonates, obviously. Uh, then what I would say here is if once you let go, I feel like there's something much better uh, coming in for you right off the bat. The Three of Swords, I also feel for all of you, is saying be care be very careful of your health. Um, you know, I've, said, I've been saying this to Pisces for the last couple of years, Neptune and Pisces, right? Neptune and Pisces is garbage in, garbage out, plain and simple. So it's like, you know, um, again, I'm not a doctor, so don't take this as medical advice, obviously, but... Um, if you're putting garbage in your body, you're just going to be getting garbage out, right? So I would be very careful of that. 
uh, with the Three of Swords. Uh, next, with the you have this Juno card. It says partnership. I feel, I, I mean, you know, again, based off your astrology, there's definitely a lot of good stuff going on as far as relationships are concerned for you, especially in the second half of the year. I'm almost positive that when I did the and when I did the yearly reading for 2022, I said that, you know, really, once we get towards the end of the year, really good time for you for love, Pisces. But, I, you know, again, that doesn't mean you can't find love right now. And what I would say here is I do feel there could be a new partnership coming in for you. I am getting, there are two birds here, but I am getting like birds of a feather. So I feel like you could be finding someone where it's like, obviously you have differences, but I feel like you're kind of like birds of a feather. I feel like you're very similar. I even think you're, you know, the thing that's really standing out to me is like past dating experiences are very similar. And what I mean by that is I feel like both of you actually, I, and I think what will be shocking when you meet this person, which I'm hoping we can get some more detail. Um, sometimes the universe just says, no, you can't know everything, <laughs> right? And again, I'm not afraid to say when I don't know something or when I when something isn't popping into my head. And I really don't know who this person is yet, you know, here in this reading. But maybe we'll get more detail when we clarify. And But what I would say is I feel like what's shocking is kind of the fact that like when you have conversations and you talk about past experiences or whatever, I feel like they're like similar. It's like, I think sometimes we get together with people, I mean, very different, you know, dating experiences, but I feel like they've learned kind of like similar lessons. And, and um, because of that, I feel like you've graduated to a certain point, both of you within partnerships. Uh, I definitely feel this is a new person is what I would say to you here. You have the Knight of Swords the two of wands and the five of wands. I feel like this has been your love life <laughs> for a long time. The five of wands, conflict, competition. I feel like you feel like second, you know, are the words that are popping into my head. I feel like some of you have maybe been with a person in the recent past, like over the past like two, three years, that kind of put you second, two of pentacles popping into my head here. And I feel like you've learned to put yourself first, not in a selfish way, but it's like, you know, I feel like really we kind of have to do that in relationships, we have to make sure that we are, you know, not putting ourselves first in a selfish way, but I mean, like, should we be sacrificing all of our wants, needs, and desires? Absolutely not, it has to be balanced, right? We have to kind of balance the two things out. And I feel that here, I feel a lot more on the five of wands. We're gonna come back to that, by the way, but just as far as love is concerned, again, I feel like someone is charging in. Uh, I kind of feel like you're a little bit irresistible <laughs> in this, like second half of the year, Pisces. Doesn't surprise me again, based off your astrology. I literally had the, I picked that up. It was like irresistible. Uh, so I feel like something is irresistible about you. It's like someone just can't help themselves around you. Typical Pisces, am I right? Um, uh, everybody's wanting to jump your bones, it looks like. But I feel like this is one person specific. And um, I feel like this person is going to kind of like take the lead and move towards you, which is interesting. Uh, you know, again, take it how it resonates, but I feel like maybe you're used to doing the approach. I feel like this person is kind of like approaching you uh, here uh, with that two wands. Very specifically, again, I get like a leadership vibe here. The, I do get, I get a lot here, Pisces, I'm not gonna lie. Again, uh, I feel a lot on this as well. I feel like you're, mm, I, I feel like you're a little hesitant. I feel like you don't want to rush right into something because of past experiences. Take your time. There is no rush with this person, I feel. So they might be moving a little quick, but I really feel they just, maybe it, you're dealing with a person who senses it before you. You know, they can sense your, like, kind of like how things are gonna go or vice versa. It could be you that is moving a little too quickly. So I just take your time here. And again, I feel like this person is kind of like a little bit irresistible. Uh, uh, also, what I'm getting here is this right here. Pisces, I feel like you are on one big adventure right now. I feel like you're, you need to like, Really, I know I, I'm pretty sure I said this in 2022 at the beginning of the year, Pisces, but I feel like if you could look at, you know, the rest of this year as a treasure hunt, right? That you will be very beneficial. I mean, that will be very beneficial to you. Five of Wands to me is like a card uh, I call Indiana Jones. To me, it's like going through some sort of crazy temple and discovering some treasure. I feel like that you're going through a temple, but like there are a bunch of rooms that have treasure in them, but you have to discover these rooms. What the hell am I talking about? Well, it's like, this could be different chambers of your life, like maybe love, business, health, right? There could be some things that you discover, but I feel like part of this is needing to go on the adventure of discovery. It's like, I feel, as I've said to pretty much everyone, experimentation is gonna be very beneficial this year, meaning like trying new things in business. And it's like, you're, the five wants is you're gonna have to explore. You're gonna have to, like, if you want to grow your YouTube channel or grow your business, I would try like several different things and see what works, because that's how you're gonna find treasure. But I definitely get that for you there on that five of wands. And by the way, Pisces, 
I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that or not, but it's 11.11, it's not gonna focus on the screen, I doubt it, but 11.11, there Pisces. So there you go, right? But uh, let's see here, Pisces, let's see what is going on for you uh, at this time, Pisces. All right, uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Two of Swords. I told you a decision needs to be made. I feel like a difficult decision where it's like one foot in, one foot out. I feel like something new is significantly better and there is no sacrifice. Here's the problem, Pisces. It's popping into my head. I feel like if you're dealing with a past person, there's a sacrifice that would need to be made for you to be with that person, you know, where it's like you're not getting something. I feel like you wouldn't be fulfilled. I'm just going to spit it out, right? If you're dealing with a past person, I feel like there's a general lack of fulfillment. I feel like they maybe kind of like ignored you at times or didn't, you know, pay attention to you at times and things like that. And it's like you were sacrificing yourself in a big way. So, you know, I feel like it's time to move on. I feel like it's time to kind of open up to new love. For others, I just feel like you need to see how much opportunity, which I, you know, again, part of me feels with this reading, it's like I'm reading this on May 19th, right? I'm going to be publishing this on the 20th, a little bit before June, before we get into the second half of the year, you know, so what I would say here is that I kind of feel like some of you are going to get to this point, but you're just kind of like in between between two worlds right now. <laughs> so it wouldn't surprise me if some of you made some changes in work or business. I feel like what you are moving towards is much more successful. With the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Wands. Yes, I feel like you have to go for something very, very, like I, like I say to you all the time, I, in, in you alone, Pisces, well, I, I've said it to other people, but mostly I say it to you. You need to realize that there are a lot of benefits in, in kind of like moving on to something new. Like if you're going from one business to another or one relationship or, or another, I feel like you need to realize that you're not starting from scratch. You're not starting from zero. You're starting from a place of education, knowledge, wisdom, like all those things. And the queen of wands, she has to be bold and assertive. I feel like you need to really go for something here, uh, especially if you're starting something new, which I know I always say that to you, but I mean, it is what it is. With the Hierophant, you have the Four of Swords. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you've been waiting a long time for, you know, like a positive relationship. I feel like you, some of you maybe want to get married. Maybe you want to, or, you know, even if you don't want to get married with the Hierophant, you could just have a desire to have a family or a commitment to a person. And I just feel like things have not been working out for you very well. So, you know, <laughs> uh, I feel like you've been hoping and praying, you know, like, let's put it that way, right? Um, and again, I get a very indecisive energy on the Hierophant, which is weird. Um, the Hierophant doesn't really represent uh, indecision, but I do feel some of you are coming off of something from the past, you know, past two or three years, where it's like the person was very indecisive. And I feel like you, that's not good for Pisces, right? <laughs> is what I'd say to you. I feel like you need someone decisive who's like, yes, I want this. Uh, with the Chariot, you have the Nine of Swords. Get out of your head, Pisces. Again, too much overthinking, as always. Trust me, I'm a Pisces. I totally get it. But... Um, I feel like you have something that you you want to start here, like a new business idea. This is for those of you in business and work or a new career. I think it's going to be very successful for you, but too much overthinking. I feel like you just need to do it. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles, you have the Page of Cups. There it is. New love coming in for you. Uh, definitely kind of, you know, like an admirer as well. And I feel like someone sees you as very special, Pisces, and they're like truly going to value the relationship, like even to the point where I feel like they're just like no games, you know? I feel like they're not gonna be like talking to anyone else or, you know, all the other stuff that you, all you young whippersnappers do nowadays, right? Uh, with Instagram and all the dating apps and everything. You know, I feel like this person is legit. So uh, definitely someone very good for you. Uh, I feel like this is also like part of your dream. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, with the Three of Swords, you have the Four of Cups. Again, I feel like there's been, I, I, like I feel recently, I'm talking about in May, this, I feel this retrograde that we have been experiencing has really brought up some like disappointments. You know, I feel like a lot of you have been thinking about disappointing things, things that have disappointed you. I can't describe the fear I'm feeling. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like channel it in right now. The fear I'm feeling is like, like missing out on something. It's like, I feel like you're saying to yourself, if I never do this, I'm going to be super disappointed. Or it's like, you don't, it's almost like the fear of failure missed with, mixed with um, missing out on something. And, you know, for a lot of you, this could be in business, I feel. But for others, I also feel you're thinking about disappointments and love. And you're just saying, you know, this is like, I do feel a little bit of a dark place here where you're like saying, I'm never going to have it, which I don't think is true, obviously, because I feel like someone is coming in. So I would get out of that four cups zone. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, you have the King of Wands. Uh, this could be, a, could be a fire sign coming in for you. You've had fire. 
You have the king and queen of wands. Again, I feel those two are like have the most desire uh, out of all the divine counterparts. And again, it doesn't matter what gender you're interested in. General reading. But I do feel there's a person who's coming in for you. This person is definitely a leader, uh, like I said. And again, it doesn't matter what gender. I feel like they are going to take the lead in the situation. And because I, like I said earlier, I see this regardless. Uh, I see this person coming towards you, uh, making like the first move. I feel like this person is like a leader. I feel like they definitely stand out, very successful. You know, again, the um, King of Wands is more like entrepreneurial. And I always say that does not necessarily mean business. It just means they take care of things like as if an entrepreneur would. You know, that includes like raising children. You know, I'm not saying they look at it as a business, but I'm just saying they really take care of the things that they care about. So uh, that's like the energy that's standing out to me. Could be fire, could be any sign. I'm really not picking up on a sign. Uh, with the two of wands, you have the Knight of Cups, Knight in Shining Armor. For sure. Uh, definitely someone who sweeps you off your feet here, Pisces. Uh, again, a lot of stuff going on about like your dream life. I feel a lot about your dream life. We're actually going to cover it uh, in just a second, but I feel like there could be night sharing armor. Uh, if you're making a move, by the way, I feel like if you're making a change, moving, changing jobs, whatever, that you could be meeting a person through that. And with the five of wands, you have the three of wands. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Uh, three of wands is like, what are you waiting for? Waiting, it's a card of waiting for the perfect moment that when there never will be a perfect moment to do something that you want to do. So now is the time, Pisces. But I want to ask, uh, page of cups, I'll show you right here. Page of cups, knight of cups. It's like, I do feel this need to take the lead on like a dream or something that you desire to have or create. So let's see. You have the seven of cups, too many thoughts. I mean, this is exactly what I was going to say with that five of wands, the three of wands. It's like all the what ifs, like too many rushing thoughts about something. I also kind of get this sense of like overcomplicating something here, Pisces. Um, it's like, uh, you know, if you're wanting to start a business, it's, I feel like you could be adding too many moving parts. I feel like it's saying get started, then start adding moving parts, right? Just like, but the getting started part is like the most important thing here. Uh, next, you have the sun. Damn. <laughs> uh, a lot of happiness coming in for you. Also, like, much more free. I see you becoming much more free, you know, especially in work and career and financially as well. It's like, I see this, what, like, what's popping into my head is either, like, I feel like it's a combination of things. Number one, if you're making a change in work or career, I feel like you're doing something that's much more enjoyable for you. I'm not, you know, no job is perfect. It's like, I have my good days and bad days even doing this. And I love doing this, right? It's like, let's be honest. It's like, there are some days I want to do it. There are other, there, which is like a majority of the time, but there are definitely days I don't, right? So, you know, what I would say here is I feel like there's something that's a majority of the time much more enjoyable for you. Feeling like you're making a difference as well as popping into my head. Uh, but I also feel like there's something that's like easier for you to do. You're like the second sign that ha has had a message like this, which is very interesting. It's like, you know, I, I think people need to realize that we shouldn't be wishing for things to get easy. We should be wishing for things to get better as Les Brown says, right? But, uh, and that's what I feel here. I'm not saying that you're getting a job that's easy or you're getting a career that's easy or a business that's easy. I feel like it's just easy because you're getting better at it, right? So, you know, there's a distinction there with that sun card, but I kind of like it. A lot of abundance coming in for you. And a much better, much better use of your time is what I'm getting with that sun card. Uh, bottom row, you have the five of cups. It's like a disappointment, but again, I feel like you need to realize how much you have to gain. You know, I feel like you need to turn around, see these two cups, this bridge and the castle. You know, it's very interesting because like, if I'm being honest with you, if you're still dealing with like a past person or still dealing with a person, I don't think this person wants to let you go, but it's like, they're also, they won't do, I just don't see them doing anything about it in my head. You know, it's like, so it's a helpless person. You know, it's like, I think people think of helpless and it's like, oh, a person who can't be helped, but it's like some helpless people can't help themselves, right? And I definitely feel some of you are either have been dealing with or have dealt with at like a person who is helpless and in the sense that they can't get out of their own way, they can't help themselves. So it's like, that's not on you here with the five of cups. And I feel like you need to realize that you're moving towards something much better. Uh, so that's one hell of a reading, Pisces. I love it. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy the second half of your year.